Hey there, everybody. How are y'all doing? I just, I just said y'all. How's, yeah. how's that popcorn? Good. All right. Um, I digress. Uh, me and the homie Tyler here. We just got back from watching Split. Uh, don't worry. Not a horrible cheerleading remake from like the nineties. It was actually, it was actually all right. No, he cannot do a split. <laughs> uh, by the way, perfect time to say spoiler alert. Spoiler. Spoiler. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, what would you? What were your main thoughts on the movie? What'd you think? I know it was it was good, especially for a January movie. Yeah, <laughs> like January movies, normally not amazing. About let's, here. let's be honest, they're normally crap. Uh, we've already had some crap ones this January, but this yeah. one, I would have to say, this one up there. Yeah, it 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 overdid what I thought it was gonna do. It it did pretty good. But it's not the best. No, it's not the best movie ever. It's, it's, it's not a it's not a Batman Dark Knight. Don't get it <laughs> twisted. But it's not awful. No. Uh, so I really want to talk about the actors first because that that was the big thing. The actors were a big deal because they James McAvoy. He sold it. If you watch this movie for any reason, James McAvoy is the reason. That man can act. Multiple times at once. Yeah, he does. If you don't know what the movie's about, he does multiple personalities. He's got like 23 people living in his head, I think. 24 with 24 the beast, 24 with the beast, yeah. And he has to jump back and forth between all the personalities, and he does a damn good job of doing it. Apparently in one take, not cut scenes. In yeah, the at the very end, when he's looking in the mirror... I read that it was one take, and there were no cuts, nothing. He just did it. And that, when you see it, it's impressive. It's amazing how he can... He deserves to be nominated for an Oscar. Oh, big time. If he doesn't get nominated at least for an Oscar... Sad moment. Yeah, that history. that's a shame, because this guy... If he wasn't already upper level of acting, he he's there now. Oh, yeah. I mean, he is there. Uh, there were other people in the movie, though. We can't just talk about James. Well, we could. Uh... Betty Buckley played the psychiatrist for James. Yes. What'd you think about her? She had her parts. Yeah, she she wasn't crazy important, but she kind of was at the same time. At the end, she did save the main woman's. Yeah, she kind of sabotaged him and set it up so the main woman could get away and gave her some advice on how to beat him. Didn't exactly work as planned, but it worked a little. Partially. Um, her therapy sessions were interesting because it wasn't really till the very end that she got other people than the one personality to talk to her. Yeah. So that was <laughs> that was just all around interesting. Go on. <laughs> what What'd you think about the Anya Taylor Joy butchered name? Yeah, I, I I'm not gonna say <laughs> she did right. well. She her, really did. She sold the part. I mean, she. Was definitely the best out of the women actors in oh, that. big time. When it comes to the three women that he kidnaps in the beginning, she was the star out of the three of them. Oh, and helped the others so they weren't assaulted, basically. Yeah, she gave them some good advice uh, at one point, but it was very disturbing because we later find out through some flashbacks that, that she was her. abused. Big time. By her uncle. And that day, it, it it was it was messed up. That was that was that was pretty dark. It was it was pretty dark. The other two girls, just not really impressive. They kind of just, for a lack of a better term, they kind of just bitched a lot. <laughs> they, they killed themselves. Yeah, they kind of <laughs> they kind of got <laughs> themselves killed. I won't lie. Uh, really, I think the one of the big reasons was they. We're hot, and that's kind of what they needed in yeah, the movie. They were a certain time at type of girl. Yeah, and they just their acting skills. I don't know if they needed to have a big part in the movie, but their skills just were. Yeah, they just they just weren't quite there. But okay, so the next thing we wanted to discuss was uh, M Night Shyamalan, the director of the movie. Uh, what'd you think? He's getting up there again. Yeah, he's doing really good now. He had a. He was really good. He was supposed to be like the next big thing. Had a little time where he kind of fell off. And then he brought it back up with The Visit. Yeah, The Visit. The Visit was made last year. And that movie was decent. It yeah. was good. It was a solid movie. Now with 
split, it's bringing it up even higher. Yeah, he's he, setting the bar higher and higher. Yeah, he's definitely getting back up there. Yeah. I'm impressed, and I'm very, very excited to see what he has to do from here. Yeah, his future could be very good. I could see him, see him at the peak of Hollywood. You know. Uh, and the next things we wanted to talk about were just some movie parts. The first one being the plot. With no twists. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't really twists. Just shocks. <laughs> yeah, and there weren't any holes. No. I thought they did a pretty good job with the flashbacks. Which helped out why she knew how to protect the other two. Yeah, she was kind of a mother, really, when you think yeah. about it, on how she tried to protect them. Didn't work out. No. But she tried. They both still did. Um, the only thing that messed us up with the plot was, one, we wish they would have done a flash, or had her talk, talk about the uncle. Yeah. And how he raped her to the police officer at the very end. And why the glass was mentioned. Yeah, we don't know who the glass is. It was at the very end, Bruce Willis was sitting in a diner with these other people watching the news. Just randomly. And they said something about Mr. Glass or whatever, and Bruce Willis was there. I was kind of... Kind of shocked that maybe there's a sequel. Hopefully, yeah, I wouldn't mind a sequel to this movie. I think the sequel could be good. Yeah. Be interesting to see where they take it from here. The tone, dark and demented. Yeah, it was. It this movie honestly was pretty dark. It between the rape scenes of the little girl, the eating the people's stomachs, half naked young women. Yeah, there's a lot of. I mean, it's not nudity, but it's pretty close give little kids inappropriate things yeah i mean it was it was just Awkward. it was pretty dark and like how twisted and demented some of his personalities are that was yeah. that was pretty crazy it really was uh the movie itself was filmed well yeah there was no awkward shots or anything yeah. like that it flowed pretty good the shots were good there was nothing that like appalled you where you just saw it and went what why? Yeah, like, why Why would you do that? Why? And then the last thing <clears throat> was the script. It was well written. Yeah, it was well written. The only people that had shit lines were the two girls. Yeah, who died. Yeah, but I think they, I think he almost did that on purpose. I think, yeah. I think they were kind of supposed to just not be alive. Yeah, I think they, <laughs> I think they were pretty much set up for disappointment. But, uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. That's, yeah. that's our review of Split. Pretty good movie. Yeah. I'd, I'd recommend, recommend it. Even if it's just to see James McAvoy. Yeah. I mean, he did a damn... I can't even tell you how good he was. I was very, very impressed. It was a splitting performance. Yes, he, it was very splitting. Uh, so, that's it. If you like the video, click the like button. It tell really helps. Yeah, comments below. I'd love to hear some feedback on what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I'm going to put up a vlog about the whole day. Some point. Yeah, sometime. Don't don't trust me on dates. And uh, I'll link the homie in the description. His channel's just starting up like mine. And we'll see you next time.